Okay, welcome to Pick a Meeting Teacher Instruction Manual. Basically, what we want to show you here is how to register as a new teacher and how to set up your first meeting. So, what we will do is we'll click on here we are at the home page, we click on Start here, and then we'll click on Register. Okay, so now what we have here is our registration screen. So we will register as a new user. You can pick your own username. Enter in your correct email address here. It has to be six letters long. What country you're in, time zone, and that's it. Okay, so at that stage you will receive an activation email and you will be able to use a number of meetings for free. Okay, so now we're back here after having clicked on the activation email, we're back at the logon screen. Uh, I can also reach this from the home page by clicking on start here and uh, I will be brought to the logon page. And we'll see we're logged in. Now it's very simple to set up a meeting. First step you have to remember is you want all your uh, students or pupils to know that they're that you're introducing the system. So what we have here is what's called a welcome letter. And this welcome letter is something that you would generate and you would print out and give to all of your students. So this would just basically inform the parents, look, we're using this new system and we'd like you to use it with us. We can look at the welcome letter and it gives us the uh, contact code. This is a code that when the parents log in, they will be asked to enter the code and then they will be automatically associated with you as a teacher. Okay, now if we want to change the text of the welcome letter, basically what we will go in, what we will do is we will go in here to mail templates, click on welcome letter in English and here we can just change the, uh, the way the text is actually is laid out. So for example here it says please visit page URL click parent and register using the following registration code this and then you can put something in here like hi this is Mrs. Smith your child's teacher and so on. You can put in whatever way you like. Best regards regards this is Smith. All right, so that's it. So we have it created now, okay? So we go back here to the welcome letter and we'll see it's got our code here. So we will say create and download. We just click on that link. We'll save it. Uh, notice here at the bottom of the screen it's downloaded. So we just open it up to take a look at it. And here we have the welcome letter, which is already generated for you in PDF format and it gives the URL, click parent and register during the letter meeting. So that's the first thing you would actually do. Now, if you're lucky and all the parents basically, uh, you know, do like they're supposed to do and go onto the website and register, then you will have a list of children here and they will, you will see whether they're awaiting approval or whether they're already approved. If they're already approved, then basically the parent's name will be here. Uh, but just to give you a look at what the parent actually sees uh, when they log in. Okay, so here we are as the parent. And uh, when the parent gets the letter, they will log on here. They'll click on parent. And their first access code is what we gave them earlier on, what we sent out earlier on. And we go register. So you see they're automatically brought in. And get rid of that. And they register. Okay, and now they come to the home page and they can add their children. So they can say, John Murphy. And they select the text, male, and then you see here they're associated with teacher one, uh, which is you basically, but this is what the parent sees. And then they can look at the appointments. Okay, we haven't set up any appointments yet. So, okay, when I click on my home page, it uh, gets me gives me an indication on how to do how to set up the meetings uh, so what we want to do here is uh, there are a number of steps you have to go through first of all um, first of all you, you can have the choice of either sending out the welcome letter or you can uh, just uh, invite parents to register that's another option you have and this is where on the mail templates you would actually just change the the mails 
that they go out to the parents inviting them to register or to invite them to a meeting or you know that they confirm their association with that particular child and so on you can also delete associations and here you can change the welcome letter now it's very very simple uh, if you want to invite a parent register and you want to just change the text that goes out you just click on this and uh, you know you can change invitation to register say please sign up here and you can set up your appointments there I have your child's name regards teacher and these email tags are basically the uh, variables that you can put into the email that will be changed automatically now that all gets sent out in plain text so you don't have to worry about uh, HTML formatting and getting you know clogged up with anti-spam filters and so on okay so um, now I'm logged in as the teacher here and uh, here I can see the children that are registered to my account now at the moment I've got a number here yeah excuse the uh, the dopey name sometimes when we're testing these things we uh, we use silly names just for uh, for the sake of it but you can see here John Murphy is in that's the parent I created a few minutes ago and you know the fact that his parent has already confirmed and logged in means they automatically put them in themselves so you you would have a list here where the parents would would actually you know enter themselves into the, into the system and you can compare it against your class list and see if uh, if all the children are registered and if they're not registered then you can just uh, you know add a child and uh, you can say you know child name is child number four uh, you know last name children uh, parents email and then we go hello at And we can say here, this is also handy here, uh, we can say no email. And the reason we have that is obviously not every parent has access to a computer. So if they haven't got access to a computer, then, you know, we have to put in the account information of the children ourselves, uh, and the contact information, how we get to them. So that's actually quite, a, quite an important feature. So if we go, now automatically that sends out the invitation to the parent and it then goes into what we call here pair five or, or whatever and it's a child number four that's the one we just created here awaiting approval so the parent will get the email and then they will click on it and approve uh, and you know fill out their account details and and um, then they will be associated with that child uh, so it all sounds a bit uh, complex but actually it's quite simple it's just basically setting the system up initially this is a one-off thing I have a number of different ways of doing it. suggest you just play around with it and see see how you get on okay now we get into the uh, create meeting section all right this is probably the easiest part so I want to do a, create a meeting uh, with all the parents and I'll just say annual review and I say I'm going to allow 30 minutes for each meeting I've got 10 kids so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to make 15 appointments so I'll just up it there to 15 I'll make 18 for example and the reason I'm doing this is because obviously you know I, I, I want to have free time for myself so I'm say the first day is the 7th of, of is uh, next we start next Monday the 13th and we say we start the meetings at six at four o'clock every day and we'll finish them uh, just for argument's sake six o'clock and we go next now what you see here is these are the appointments it has put the appointments in and automatically put them in you know each day because i you know i could i can i can actually move them around if i want but only inside the time that i have specified uh, so i can put them in here i could move it down to here and so on the reason for this is that you know it allows me to switch and chop and change my uh, my times I can't go past eight o'clock but I can definitely go before you know so I could move a couple up to here or to here and whatever okay so um, I'll move that one over there we go next now it asks me uh, okay well what participants do you want so I'm going to say I want to invite all of these parents and that's it every one of them I click on finish and that's it sit back and enjoy parents now filling out when they want to approve 
where I want to set their meetings. So what we've got here is is uh, the, our calendar view, uh, which is on the appointment screen. I can look at that, uh, you know, by week. I can look at it next week. I can look at it by day or by month. And this shows me exactly where these meetings are. So you can see there's all these. What you have here now are empty slots. So what I'm going to show you, show you now is what happens when a parent uh, logs into the system. Okay, so here I am uh, logged in as a parent, parent three Murphy, and I am associated with this particular teacher. And here I can basically see uh, my child's name, the appointments that are available to me, uh, not assigned meetings and I can just look at one of these and I say ah look when it suits me best and I'll say you'll see four o'clock on Wednesday so if I select that just click on it once and I'll say book and that's it all right so that's it so that's it saved for for me now I can also you know go and change it if I want as a parent uh, by just double clicking on it I can release it and it's released, but I can go back here again and I can book it. Now I can do that anytime, you know, whether I log in at a later stage or whatever. So uh, that's it. So now I will go back to the teacher's appointments and I'll just hit refresh. And there I will see I have 5.30 p.m. Parent 3 Murphy annual review. So that means that that is already booked. Okay, now if I choose I can move that as well and as a parent I hit refresh I would actually see it's been moved automatically for me so uh, teachers have the ability to move around appointments as well but not a good idea but the ability is there if you want if a parent calls up and says look you know uh, I you know I can't make it at that time I know I've booked then you know at least you have the ability to change it so we hope you like losing, using the system. Don't forget to recommend it to your friends. If you do, you get lots of free appointments. Thanks again.